In our next example, we show how you can use a union query in SQL Server. And basically, a union query is where you're taking two similar uh, result sets of data and you're putting them together. And although this is not a requirement, it's, it's, it's very possible that they're coming from different data sources or different tables. That's kind of the, um, the way that we're going to demonstrate it for this example. We're going to show how you know what you may be faced with, and then how you could set this up if you needed to, and some of the problems that you might run into. Let's just say that, for example, your company just bought out a smaller company of people that do what you do. Your company is based in New York. You just bought out a smaller company, and say everybody's in Atlanta, so they just sent you up their database so you could take a look at that. And just for the sake of argument, your boss wants to see a list, just one list of all the employees across both companies and how much money they earn and he wants to have it listed from top to bottom with the highest salaries down to the lowest salaries okay well in this case we have our employee table in our Acme database but there's also in a different database called Acme 2 there's another employee table let's just take a look at both of these tables and just see what we notice about them right off the bat uh, the first thing is, they're completely different. I mean, y of course there's different people in them, uh, but they have different numbers of fields, different names for the fields. Like for example here, you know, they have uh, which department the people are in, when the record was created, who cares, when the record was modified, who cares. This table here has a hired, but it doesn't even put anything in it. You know, somebody wasn't paying attention. So in this table, Basically, we just have a name and a salary, but that's all that the boss wants to see anyway. Um, but you see, we do have a, a name. We do have name information in in the standard table and salary information, so we should be good to go. But here are a few of the problems. The field names are different: EM salary or salary. And also, uh, when it comes to normalization, depending on how you like to do this, uh, some systems put a person's name in first and last in the same field. Sometimes they further compound this by not always doing this, but sometimes putting the last name, comma, first name. I was not mean enough to do that here. But in this other system, of course, its first name and last name are separated out. So you see, even just with those couple of differences, it creates a few different challenges for us. So what could we do? Well, to get a little bit closer to what the boss wants, let's just run this query. I'm just going to take the first name and the last name and the salary from the employee table that we're used to and I'm going to I'm going to do it in descending value on the salary so the people compensated the most come up first. And then I'm going to do something similar in the in the employee data from the other database. I'm going to take the name information and then the salary information and then I'm going to order it the same way. So here's what this looks like and it looks like we're getting closer to our target. But the thing is they want one list. They want this consolidated. They want this consolidated. So how do we do that? I mean, you know, it would be a nightmare to put this into Excel and try to make sense of it because then you have to make sure that you're, you know, doing the A, A to Z sort the right way and having the right amount of fields and, you know, it still doesn't really help. And the other thing is, we still have the problem with this name being one field, whereas the name information in this other table, it's two fields. So even though this is a little closer to what the boss wants, it's not acceptable. Well, what can we do? Well, a union query is a way where you can jam two different data sets kind of into the same result set, if you will. So here's how you would begin to set this up. This will break. This will break. But here is, um, here is the beginning syntax of this. I'm saying select, you know, blah, 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 blah from this table. But then after I'm done, I say union. And, and this is a keyword. It's not like Jimmy Hoffa union. It's just, you know, the union keyword. And then down here, I have another select statement that says select this, this, and this from this other table. And if you notice, though, the, there's only one order by statement. I don't have an order by statement up here. I only have one order by statement down here. And that's the way that you want to do that. But this will break, and maybe you can already tell why it will. Watch this. All queries combined using a union, blah, 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 must have an equal number of expressions in their target list. In other words, what they're saying is this has three fields, excuse me, um, this actually has three fields listed, and actually that shouldn't be there right now, that's misleading. 
This has three fields listed, uh, EM first name, EM last name, and EM salary, good. And this one just has name and salary, so it doesn't like that. And that's why that's crashing, you just save that guy. Um, really the way that you wanna do this is, and I indented this so it's a little nicer to look at. Uh, in the first case, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the first name and the last name and we're going to consolidate them together into one field. And I'm going to call that employee. I don't have to name it, but you really should name it. It's smart to do that. Um, and then I'm going to say salary is the second field, and guess what? We call it salary. And we're going to select that from employees. And when we do that, you now it's just going to, whoops, it's just going to look like this. Yay. And then in the second query, the second part of the query, we're just going to basically be pulling another record set that kind of looks like this. Yay. But when we put the union keyword together, here's what we've done. Um, we only have one order by, and it's at the very end. Okay, that's good. We have both of our select statements. Okay, that's good. Uh, we went ahead and we named both of these fields. We didn't have to, but this first one needed to be named because since we're doing concatenation, it would have just came back with no name at all. And if you're trying to do something with that later on in VB.net or C Sharp, it'll probably blow a microcircuit. So you have to name the field. Um, last but not least, since each of these select statements is at the end of the day coming back with just two fields, they'll stack nice on top of each other and it'll be happy. So when we run this whole thing start to finish, bam, finally, here we go. The boss will finally be happy because now this has a list all the way down of everybody in the system or everybody in the two organizations and how much they make from top to bottom. Now who knows why he wanted that. He'll probably want something different the minute he looks at it, but that's what he asked for. Now, if you want to be the person who thinks one step ahead of the boss, you know, like, what is he going to ask for or something, you could always have another field in here that has an order by saying, you know, order by, you know, like, um, this table first or that table or whatever. But if you just wanted to like be slick really quick and do something simple in anticipation, you could just add an asterisk in front of the name of the employee in the first query and not the second query and watch what happens. As you hand this into your boss, you can say, hey boss, look what I did for you. Here's everything you wanted. It's all the employees, it's all the salaries and the order of highest to least, but I also put a star in front of all the names of the people from the New York office as opposed to the ones from the, what did I say, Nashville or whatever, Atlanta office. This way, if you anticipate that, you know the next thing he's going to ask is, how do I know where they're from? So anyway, you could do that or you could just have another field that says like Atlanta or whatever else. So that's how you would use, that's one of the many ways that you could use a union query.